another video so today we are going to do a fun little tour of my apartment here in Mexico and I cannot wait to show you guys this place it is actually an Airbnb that I rented for a month so far and I'm not really sure if I'm going to rebook or look for somewhere else to stay um, once the rental period is up or anything, but I definitely wanted to show you guys this amazing property. It is actually an Airbnb, and so since it's an Airbnb, I wanted to show you guys the whole facilities and kind of explain a few things that I've been experiencing since I've been here. And I guess I will start with the positives. <laughs> so the positives is mostly outweighing the negatives. There's only a few negatives. But to start, the positive, the biggest one I can say right now, because I'm looking right at it outside of the window, is the beach is literally across the street. And I'll show you guys that right now. If you guys can see, I think it's too bright. It's way too bright but yeah anyway the beach is literally across the street it is called Playa 88 which is 88 Beach in English and it's just a very very long beach um, it's only like two minutes walking it's literally like right around the corner and yeah it's really clean a lot of locals are there there's a like mini type of I forgot what they call it like I'll put it in the bottom of the screen I can't really remember but it's like one of those over there and a lot of children play in that little thing adults as well and it's really fun so the beach is literally right outside of my door and the facilities are beautiful there's a pool there's palm trees there's coconuts, there's so much to do, there's things to like, there's an area to barbecue if you have guests, there's tanning chairs, it's a lot of really really good stuff around here and it's just an entire apartment complex and so from the Airbnb I think it's called Perletta's Homes and I honestly am not sure if there's any other Airbnbs in this area. I only think this is the only one. To my knowledge, I've only noticed that locals lived here from observing and speaking to a few. Um, I think this is probably the only Airbnb that they have here. I'm not sure, but yeah. So it's very nice, very local friendly. Um, it's very upscale compared to the average Mexican lifestyle, so if you do stay here, there will probably be like gringos or very well-to-do Mexicans or I don't know, but yes, a really good area, really good facility and very affordable. Um, I will put all the information down below in the description if you guys are interested in booking in the future. I'm not really sure if I will rebook or if I'm going to look for somewhere else to go after this rental period is done, but I definitely wouldn't mind rebooking. However, there has been a few hiccups and I'm going to just get to those really quickly because there's not that many, but they're very much so mentioning. Um, so... The first thing I do want to mention, one of the first issues that I did encounter staying here so far, um, this happened like almost a week ago, I'm not sure, but the AC actually started leaking and it's right here actually if you can see. So the AC started leaking and I noticed it was like dripping on the window and everything. I texted them saying the AC is leaking and it was on a Friday and they told me that the technician, they'll try to get him out as soon as possible. 
um, ended up having to deal with that for two days because he couldn't come out until Monday, which was understandable. However, it did get worse from when I started texting them. It like, you know, actually started to really, really just leak. And I needed the AC. It stopped when, it stopped when you turned it on fan mode. However, it is hot here, so I needed like actual AC. So I just kind of let it leak. I used pots and pans and towels and just made it work. So yeah, that was something to deal with, and it was just a lot so aside from that there was another thing I wanted to mention um oh yes yeah. so another issue this happened on this happened actually like two days ago so I was taking a shower and it was like um, almost 1am it was like I don't know. It was like almost 1 a.m., right? So I was taking a shower, and I noticed close to the end of my shower, the water was getting really, really weak. And once I got out of the shower, I checked, like, all the water faucets and just realized the water was turning off, which was the first time I've ever had anything like that happen in my life. Um, it was really nerve-wracking, so I texted them right away. And it was like around 12.50 when I did that. So I expected them to not get back to me until like the morning. So I went right to sleep. And when I woke up, I noticed that they texted me like 15 minutes after I sent them that message. And I just confirmed with them that the water was still off in the morning. And, you know, like what's going on? So <laughs> that morning I realized that they were really, really trying to fix what was going on. It was happening to the entire complex. It wasn't just my place. And I don't really know why that happened, to be completely honest. But long story short, they got the water. So I keep switching hands. This camera's heavy. <laughs> but um I realized that right before 12 that they got the water running like around 11 or something a.m. Which was really good. I didn't have to deal with, you know, not having water for too long. However, it was scary because, again, I've never had that happen. I wanted to take a shower in the morning. I wanted to, you know, like, <laughs> I was just scared. Even though you can't drink the water here, it was just like you know you need running water so that got fixed very quickly and no problems since then um another thing that i'm just gonna mention it's not really a big deal because this is very extremely common here in mexico or just really i think most places outside of the states is sort of loud Again, I've never lived in an apartment before. I've only lived in my town home or with my family in an actual home in the States. So getting used to like neighbors and the noises and the knocking and all that stuff is just kind of new to me. It's not the end of the world at all. Um, there is construction around. So that's also something that's going on too, but again, it's no big deal, especially if you're not like staying here for too long, it's probably not even going to be noticeable to you. But the fact that I'm living here now, it's noticeable to me, so it is kind of noisy. But honestly, I wouldn't expect anything different anywhere else, especially in Mexico. Um maybe and it depends where you're staying but from what i see it's like that pretty much most places even if you're in a hotel you hear noises a lot especially construction so other than those three things i can't really think of anything else that i would consider a con about this place oh yeah there is stairs so you can see on the airbnb website there is stairs they're a little shorter than what you would expect i did kind of scrape my calf not my calf um 
like the front part of my leg I scraped that the first time I was walking up the stairs because they're a little shorter than what you are used to there's not much like foot space so be careful walking up the stairs but you will get used to it quickly and that's about it so I went over everything I wanted to talk about so far and let's get right into this tour
here in Playa del Carmen and I really hope y'all enjoyed this type of video again I will leave all the information in the description if y'all are interested and no they do not know I'm making this video I just really wanted to show y'all where I'm staying and give some type of insight on life here in Mexico so, I hope y'all enjoyed this type of video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!